back and forth over the edge will help you assure that you know where the edge is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Right there. All right, Kelly! Good job, Kelly! Good job! Kona was an awesome experience just being, um, you know, at the Ironman World Championships in kind of the original location. Despite their youth, some have gone through some big time challenges already. I grew up as an amputee. I lost my leg when I was six months old. I had to kind of face life being a different kid growing up. You know, as I grew up, I was very interested in you know, following in his footsteps, becoming a doctor, and I think part of it too was um, growing up with, it, with my leg as well, kind of influenced that decision. I was fit with my first prosthesis when I was, I think, nine months old and started walking when I was 13 months old, and, you know, from there just became very active. You know, obviously medical school is very difficult, and, um, you know, I, I took it very seriously, but at the same time, um, I like having other things in my life. I'm one of those people that um, kind of always wants a challenge. When the opportunity came up in around January for, well, to audition for Survivor, I guess I figured why not? Just the environment that Survivor puts you in, um, the, the fact that you have so little food, you have so little water, you have so little privacy, you don't have really any personal belongings except for the clothes on your back. Those experiences really make you kind of appreciate um, so many of the kind of luxuries you have back in this world. Um, you know, the, the reality of it is, you know, you can do, you can survive just fine out there. I mean, you know, I left because I kind of got forced off the show. It, it was difficult, you know, you're in a starvation mode. Um, it's a hard situation to be in, but I think it makes you realize that you're capable of surviving in it and you really don't need all those things that you have in your life. Um, they're kind of superfluous. And it makes you really appreciate, I think, um, the friendships and the relationships you have because that's one thing you don't have out there. You know, I've looked into a lot of different fields, including PM&R and um, sports medicine. Um, although those fields are still kind of on my radar, um, I actually am more drawn to anesthesiology at this point. I think anesthesiology just offers, uh, from what I've seen, offers kind of that experience in the OR at the same time as, you know, having, I could have a lifestyle where I could continue doing some of those other activities like, you know, triathlon that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. 